guys and welcome to today's video if you guys are in lockdown like a, a fair amount of europe is at the moment i think i hope you are all doing well i mentioned a few videos ago that i wanted to share with you a bit of a decluttering series and this is video two of that series my last video was a lipstick video and this is basically part two of the lipstick video because it got a little bit long this one is slightly shorter so i hope you guys enjoy it i am clearing out my mac collection my nars collection and my ysl i had i think it was 35 mac lipsticks and i significantly reduced that i think to like 20 ish so i'm very very excited about that but if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't seen my first lipstick clear out video then, then i'll link that down below because that's probably a better place to start and without further ado let's get started we have mac a lot of mac quite a lot of ysl and then just some nars on top because i have less nars i think we'll start there I think I'll end up keeping the vast majority of these. I don't have that many NARS lipsticks and I'm just a really big fan. These two are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils which are just super popular across the board. They are great. I have two shades and then I have one of these which is a satin lip pencil. We'll swatch the Velvet Matte. This is in the colour Mysterious Red. Beautiful, would definitely wear that. So we're going to keep that. We then have Doomy Baby which I've clearly worn. Really lovely as well. And then this one I'm tempted to get rid of because honestly what the hell happened to this lid? Like that's an absolute mess. And I don't love the satin lip pencils as much as I love the velvet mattes. So this is in the shade Hyde Park. Honestly I've had this quite a long time. I'm actually happy to get rid of this one. I just don't think I'm wild about the satin version. So happy to let this one go. Then onto the lipsticks. I have two. These are the Audacious lipsticks and I have Barbara and Anita. We'll start with Barbara which I've clearly worn quite a lot and which I would very happily keep like i said i quite like a nude that's a bit more sheeny and this one is a little bit more sheeny it's not like glittery or anything like that but really like that and then this one is anita which again i've definitely worn i hate that sometimes lipsticks go into funny shape but other ones don't i just don't know how that happens oh absolutely beautiful love that would definitely wear that then i have two power matte lip pigments just push play and light my fire We'll start with just push play again this is red and it's matte so the likelihood is i'm going to keep this oh that's quite an unusual color not one i'm really sure will suit me might keep it and just try it on and then decide whether i'm going to keep it or not and then kind of a more summery red more tomato-y red i guess and this is in the color light my fire i'm going to keep both because I don't have a huge NARS collection so I don't feel too guilty about this and I think they are nice and I just want to try them on and then maybe in the future get rid of them. And these are velvet lip glides. It's very obvious that I like reds in a matte and then I like nudes in a non-matte. This is Swing, which is actually quite a nice colour. I'm unsure about the consistency, but I think once they're on the lip they might be quite nice. So I'm going to hold on to that. Oh my god guys, these are the same. These are both swing, but it's, it's weird because sometimes they look slightly different. Like this one looks ever so slightly lighter, so I guess I'll definitely get rid of one. It's very embarrassing when I have two that are exactly the same and I hadn't realised, but that's going to go. And then I think because I have more Macs than I do YSLs, we'll move on to YSL. We will start with these. These are the Rouge Pure Couture. Now, honestly, I've had these YSLs for probably longer than I should have had. I'm probably still going to keep some, but... Because of that, I think I have to get rid of a few. But this packaging just is incredibly beautiful. And it just makes me want to keep them forever. There are two of these. Now, these aren't matte. That is so annoying, but it happens. This is the shade 1. I'm actually going to get rid of it because it's a sheeny red. And I don't want a sheeny red. It's so pretty. But goodbye. And then after saying that, I'm probably still going to keep this one. This is number 13. I mean, yes, it's a sheeny red, but I would like to keep one of them. And because it's quite summery and I don't know, this is the one I'm going to keep, at least for now. Like I said, maybe in the future, during my next round of clear outs, maybe I'll get rid of that. Then we have these. These are all Rouge Voluptes, apart from this one, which is Rouge Volupte candy. You can tell it's got the silver packaging. These smell amazing. But the truth is, I've had most of these for a little bit too long. I just loved this lipstick. Like, it just reminds me of summer. But I've had it for a little bit too long, so we're going to get rid of that. And then with some of these, I'm going to keep some. But I think the vast majority is going to go just because I've had them too long. But I can't part with all of them. 
This is the shade 44. This is probably my favourite one. And we're going to go with yes, no, and maybe for now. So we're going to go with yes. Maybe we'll go with maybe. I think maybe. These might all be it, maybes. Oh, I really liked this too. This is the shade. Absolutely no idea because that is not on the bottom anymore. 43. I think this one's actually brand new, which is crazy. But I don't know, just beautiful. I'm going to keep that. These are quite sheer, which I really do like because um, it means that they just add like a little pop of colour. They look quite easy. Oh, this one is probably one of my favourites as well. This is 47. That one I'm going to keep. We're not going, we're not doing very well. This one I think can probably go though because that's just a bit too much of a red for me. Yeah, I'm happy to let that one go. That one there is 45. Again, with this one, I'm not actually sure of the shade, but I think we'll keep that for now. I am going to smell the ball as well because I think that's a really key point when you're getting rid of lipsticks because if they smell funny they need to go and actually i think quite a lot of my mac ones have changed scent this one here is completely brand new yeah that's definitely brand new i'm just going to get rid of it because i have other shades that are similar okay so that one can go and then there's this one which i think can probably go to this is a shade 51 yeah that is just it's just not really my sort of color i'm ha very happy for that to leave this one here is i'm really sorry i, I can't tell underneath that is super pigmented, but probably not a colour I would realistically wear nowadays. So happy to let it go. Completely brand new, so I'm just going to let it go like this. So yeah, we're going to keep five and get rid of six, so I think that's quite an achievement. Now we can move on to MAC. I'm actually going to put these back in the drawers, so these drawers definitely do need a clean. MAC, honestly I think it's going to be quite tricky. Let's give this a good go. There's actually 35 MAC lipsticks here, so that's quite a lot. I've definitely had some of these for too long. We'll start with this, because it's an odd one out this is a matte lip mousse in the color my better half this was part of a collaboration mac done i think last year maybe the year before actually oh my hand is bright red <laughs> let me try and remove this a bit better okay it's, that's a little bit better i think maybe this is a color that i'm happy to let go oh i don't know uh, maybe i'm going to keep it actually it's the only sort of lipstick like this that i have from mac and i just sometimes i think it's interesting to like compare stuff so i'm going to hold on to that this here again is from a collab mac done i'm not sure which, which one this is a retro matte in the shade ruby woo i just love this and i'm going to keep it it's probably i just wiped down my hand which is why products are struggling i'm going to keep this because it's one of my favorite mac matte red lipsticks if you watched my last video you may have seen that i spoke that i spoke about the fact that i had this place where i put my special makeup and i think this is where this is going to move to this is the Viva Glam lipstick which MAC done with Lady Gaga. Now, honestly, this lipstick has seen better days. I've had this for a really long time, but it was one of my first ever MAC lipsticks and I really wore this a lot. It did not suit me at all, but I loved it. So I'm happy to keep it. I mean, I used to really layer this up because it's not the most opaque color, but I used to love wearing it. And weirdly, it still has the signature MAC lipstick scent which makes me think that it hasn't gone off because a lot of the other MAC lipsticks once they've gone off they change their scent to a very like crayon like scent and that's how you can really tell especially with the MAC lipsticks if they're off but I'm gonna keep this one but it's gonna move over to my like special place <laughs> then we'll do this one which is let's mess around this was a limited edition one i'm not sure who this collab was with packaging wise i think it's fine like it's not my favorite but it's not the worst either and this shade it's just not a me shade it's very light and very sheer so just happy to get rid of it actually but i think because of the packaging i think i might just move it into that special place that i mentioned this is dark side which again it's gonna go oh actually that's very nice let's smell this this has kind of got that crayony scent already so i'm just gonna move it over and not wear it there's this one here which is a mineralized rich i definitely bought these actually i think a lot of these mac lipsticks were bought and uh, maybe five or so were gifted but for many many years mac didn't send to me which is totally fine i'm not saying that that's bad but it was always a brand that i really wanted to use and it was when i started youtube it was the brand to have i have this real affinity with mac because it was like the one brand i always really really wanted and at one point i had an action plan as to how i was going to acquire mac but i was quite young at the time and it just it wasn't feasible because brushes were like 34 pounds and i remember i really wanted the mac i think it's the 167 it's like the i can't remember what they're called anymore the brush that has like the white tips i wanted that brush so bad and I never actually i'm not no i don't think i ever did own it but 
now's not the time but yeah i definitely bought this one i remember buying this in the mac store in camden town which isn't there anymore um but I, it's a lovely color i definitely picked this one this is pure pout i'm just gonna smell it and if it smells fine i'm gonna keep this one it does smell fine so i'm gonna hold on to that one and now i'm just gonna kind of start picking up random ones in no real order this is max velvet teddy which as i'm sure most of you know was made famous by kylie jenner so it's a really lovely color it smells fine i haven't had this one that long so i'm gonna hold on to it but as I mentioned before, this is obviously just my own collection. If I were obviously using this on other people, I would be extra careful with how long I've had them all. But because I'm using them on myself, I'm, I'm okay with like keeping some that are like borderline. This is Modesty by MAC. And clearly I loved this. There is absolutely no reason for me to hold on to this because it has seen better days. So I'm actually just going to back to MAC this one whenever MAC's open again. I look forward to buying a new lipstick by taking back some packaging. But let's swatch this because clearly I loved this lipstick. It's just like a pinky mauve. Really, really liked this for the longest time. But we'll get rid of that. This is MAC Snob. Real classic MAC colour, I think. Honestly, maybe not one I'm going to wear, but it's one I'm going to keep because I just think it's quite an iconic one that I would like to hold on to, at least for now. And it's not one that I hate. I don't know, it's quite pink actually. I'm not sure. Would I wear that? I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Then we have um, Ruby Woo again in the retro matte. Weirdly, this one seems less dry than the one in this packaging, and I don't know why that is. This is the one from, the, from this black packaging, and then it's just very very strange they don't even look quite the same i'm gonna hold on to both for now but there's no reason really for me to have both so at one point they definitely one of them definitely needs to go and i'm running out of space we'll do one more before i have to clear my hand this is a cream sheen in the color peach blossom really beautiful like, everyday sheeny nude and it smells fine so holding on to that one okay on to the next this is a matte, matte russian red i've had this a while but it still smells fine and i like it so i'm gonna hold on to it i also really want to compare it to ruby woo i guess it's a bit darker but yeah i'm um, holding on to that because it's one of my favorite matte lipsticks actually then we have vegas vault which is actually a lipstick i wore quite a lot it is an amplified so it's not matte i'm actually gonna put this in the maybe pile which i haven't got so far but it's a maybe from me depends on how many of the other products i get rid of then we have Girl About Town. Now, I loved this once upon a time. For those of you in the UK, you may know that Cheryl Cole used to wear this loads. And it was about that time when I bought this. I think it's a great colour, but I don't think it's a really a colour for me at the moment. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this, so there's no point in me holding on to it. We have Patisserie. Again, one of my all-time favourite MAC lipsticks, if not my number one. It's just beautiful, but I must admit, I never really noticed how lustery it actually is. It has got a little bit of shimmer in it, which... Nowadays, I don't love quite as much, but it is a classic. I'm going to hold on to that. Then we have Whirl, which I'm not sure I've ever actually worn out. That's just never going to happen. I'm never going to use that, so we will get rid of it. Then I have Brave, which is one of my favourites as well. I think that's still a very lovely colour, and I'm going to hold on to it. This here is Amorous. This is a satin. I don't dislike this, but I'm not wowed by it, and I have other colours kind of similar to this that I have kept so i'm happy to let that one go this one here is angel which at one point i definitely love i think that's okay it's not my favorite color i'm happy to let it go because also i've had this for a while you can tell that i've used it loads so goodbye sweet lipstick this one here is morange which is an amplified now i kind of would like to swatch this here so this is way more orange than vegas vault so i think i'm actually going to get rid of vegas vault and keep morange this here is speed dial which is a cream sheen I mean, just not a colour I would currently wear. It's just too pink. So unfortunately, we'll get rid of that one too. This here is Cyber. This is just intense. It's a satin. I'm tempted to keep it just because I don't have anything similar. And I never know when I might need this. I'm going to put this into the maybe because I think there might be similar colours coming up in this collection. But I know that in my other collection, I don't have anything like that. This one here is Saint-Germain. Now, again, this one I think will go over there in my collection because this one is very iconic to me. I don't know why I always loved the idea of this lipstick. I think it's because it's got a similar vibe to Viva Glam Lady Gaga, which I really loved once upon a time. I remember I bought this and then i sold it in a blog sale this was a really long time ago when blog sales were a thing and then i re-bought this one when we went to to paris one day now obviously this is like a super barbie bubblegum pink I, I think i'm gonna hold on to it but i probably i'm not gonna wear it but you know sometimes you can keep things for sentimental reason and i think that's okay like i've done okay with the amounts that i've got rid of rid of so far this one here is pure zen which 
I don't I, I don't even know what happened to this lipstick it just completely changed colour I really think that this just shows you can just tell a lipstick is off by looking at it and by smelling it it smells exactly like a box of crayons I'm gonna swatch it even though I, maybe I shouldn't I don't know what happened it was never this colour to begin with it's gone through a lot it definitely needs to go I'm even a bit worried like putting it on my hand but 100% that one is going this one is relentlessly red which is a retro matte and I just don't think this has ever been a red colour it's very strange Again, I think I'm happy to let this go. I've had this a while. I, although it smells okay, I just don't think I'm going to wear it and I've had it a long time, so I'm just going to let it go. This here is Diva, which I think is kind of somewhat similar to Cyber, or at least the same sort of vibe. It's quite a dark shade, but it's definitely a different tone to Cyber. I have had this a while, but it, again, it smells fine. I don't think it's one that I'll wear very often, and I just prefer it a little bit to Cyber. I mean, Cyber is just different. I don't know. We'll put them both in the maybe, and then I'll, I'll come to a decision at the end diva is definitely wearable whereas i feel like cyber is kind of not so much this here is impassioned which is an amplified i'm happy to let that go it's a super bright pink i actually don't think it's coming up that bright on the camera but it is definitely a bright pink but not one i would realistically wear anytime soon so happy to let it go this is a faux which is just lovely this is a satin finish and i think it's fine so holding on to that then we have creme cup which is a really pretty nude actually this is a cream sheen i mean i'm actually gonna put this in the maybe i'm unsure maybe it's one i need to try on my lips to decide but a little bit unsure about that one then we have patisserie again i've i have another patisserie i think i kept it um this one i mean it's just absolutely seen better days i've basically completely finished it i really did love this shade once upon a time it was my holy grail for ages then we have film noir which again i think is kind of in this sort of realm okay it's just browner i really do not like this so i'm happy to let that go i feel like the other two i could kind of wear whereas this one i just i just don't like that so gonna let that one go i actually think that so far i've got rid of 10 mac lipsticks which means i can get two new ones which is exciting we have fresh brew which again is a shade that i just don't really like i just think it's far too nude but i didn't buy this one i remember this was one that i was sent quite a while ago it's just not for me it's just not one i gravitate towards mare this is so many people's favorite lipstick and i'm gonna hold on to it it is a matte and I find that these sort of colours in a matte don't necessarily always suit me. But this is kind of like a mid-toned mauve. It's, it's significantly darker than some of the other ones. So I'm going to hold on to it. Again, I'm going to give it a go. And then if it doesn't suit me, I will get rid of it. We have Lady Danger, which is a classic. It is a matte, but it's like a very summery red. I just love this. I just think it's beautiful. I think because it's matte and not a retro matte, it's just really, really beautiful. And yeah, just, just iconic. I love this. And then finally we have MAC Red, which is actually a red that I've never really liked that much. I think partly because it is a satin. And yep, happy to get rid of it as I expected. So then I guess we have to come back to these three. With Cyber and Diva, I think I'm just going to keep both, at least for now. Maybe one day soon I'll get rid of them, but for now I'm going to keep them. And then we have Cream Sheen. Now which one was Cream Sheen? I can't remember. I'm going to try this one on actually. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep this, try it on, and then hopefully sooner or later I will get rid of it. So I'm getting rid of 14 MAC lipsticks, 6 YSL lipsticks and two NARS and then these three here are moving over to my collection basket which one day I promise I will show you. So now I need to organise these and all the other lipsticks I decided to keep back into my storage. for watching i really hope you enjoyed it do let me know what you'd like to see me clear out next i think i'm going to do foundations as my next video but what would you like to see after that i could do blush i could do eyeshadows i could do palettes i can do like bronzers or lip liners and eyeliners just let me know what you'd like to see and i can definitely do that very very soon but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed do let me know if you spotted any of your favorite lipstick in this video if you liked the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you all very soon bye